Hello guys and welcome to the channel. I have just created a birthday card for a friend which is of a trout, he really likes to fish. And I've used a very simple watercolor technique called glazing and I thought I might as well share the process with you guys. Enjoy. Okay, so here is my watercolor paper which I'll be using as the card for the birthday. And I have here my sketch, so I have something to go for. Something around these lines here will be my um, my trout. So this is just my reference that I'll look at while I draw. Start by draw drawing out the outline here of the of the trout. It's up here. Down. And then want to have it kind of s make it swim this way. Give it a small fin here. And this way. Like so. Give it an eye up here. And then it has a fin. I think I'll place it here. From the photos that I've seen that I've, I've been doing a bit of research to look at how a trout looks like. And from the photos, it has these very small fins. Um, yeah, I think that's good with that side you know what we'll just i don't know if it has a fin here really but i'll just i just feel like adding one here and we're just gonna complete down here there so this is my sketch i think i'll do the pupil in black and also the tail um, and the fins probably also so now comes the fun part, really, the part that I've been looking forward to. Mm, the glazing part. So what I'm going to do is going to take some water and start by mixing up a blue wash here. Okay, I think that does it. And the reason that we want a light wash is because I have a feeling that it won't be so translucent or um, transparent, like the colors won't lay on top of each other if I make the wash too um, dark. It will simply be too opaque. So let's just try here. It looks all right. And these shapes here are just sort of an abstract pattern of these scales, fish scales. And actually, if you look up, if you look at these scales that the fish has up real close, it's a quite an extraordinary pattern. Not, a, not at all like this, way more complex. It would take Lots more time to to do that if I would have to replicate those um, scales realistically. But I think there's something charming about taking the scales and then draw them in this uh, or paint them in this abstract pattern. Show me the one whose safety deems such destruction. This is the 
Okay, so the blue first layer here is actually dry now. So now I will mix up the other wash that will be placed upon it or just next to it. I'll use this purple here. Make a nice contrast to the to the blue, I think. Again, I make sure to make it quite light, like so. Let's try it out. Maybe I will start at the tail this time. Try to place them sort of a um, bit to the sides of my already painted blue color here. And I think that now already I can tell that it's quite nice effect. I like it when you have this feeling of two colors meeting superimposing Yes, perfect. I think I will leave it here. Um, is there anything else I should do about this? Yes, I, I'm, I feel, feel like adding just a few bubbles. Um, just because you know it's kind of a festive thing, almost like balloons. Just to also keep keep it abstract and give it some life. Drawing circles is so much fun. I have one here and a tiny one there. All right, pretty neat. So. Until next time, folks, have fun drawing. Show me the one whose safety deemed such destruction.